Welcome back, Red Iron fans. I'm your online host, Andrew Homan. Josh Vermillion is on desk to break down Jackson's big matchup with Bishop Watterson. And you know, looking at last week, the Ironmen, they didn't have too much of an issue. But what's it going to take to keep that going this week? Or they really just need to keep working that ground game. It has been dominant all season long. Uh, Sexton, Farley, and McCoy, they each have over 700 yards rushing on the year. And through 11 games, that entire backfield has put up 40 touchdowns on the scoreboard. Last week in that win over Bexie, they had 475 yards rushing alone. So this running game has been absolutely dominant and they're going to need to keep riding that this week. And you know with that balanced rushing attack, it's going to be tough for Bishop Watterson to slow them down. But what do the, what's the Ironman's biggest challenge going to be taking on Bishop Watterson? Well, while Jackson's offense has been really on a roll lately, Bishop Watterson has a fantastic defense. They've only been giving up 10 points a game on the season, and they have a tough league in the Central Catholic League, so they got some really tough opponents there last week in their first round game against number one seeded Hamilton Township. They only allowed three points, while their offense put up the, the second highest point total on the season with 27. That was really impressive when they took down the number one seed in the region. Not too many teams do that, so tell me, Josh, which team is going to move on to round three, the number four seed Jackson or the number eight seed Bishop Watterson? Well, honestly, when you are a number eight seed and you take down the number one seed, I think you can pretty much throw seed advantage out the window at that point. Uh, the Eagles are playing some great football and they have a ton of momentum heading into this week. That being said, I don't think anybody can slow down the Jackson run game right now. And I'm thinking the Ironmen, they're going to win a close one on Friday night. It definitely will be close. We'll have to see how this one goes. Thanks a lot, Josh. Make sure that if you're not near a TV Friday night, then you're watching our live YouTube stream. The link will be posted on Twitter, Facebook, and our website leading up to the show, so you won't have to miss our coverage. For Josh Vermillion, I'm Andrew Homan. Thanks for watching.